If you're a fan of the Disney animated musicals or you're the parent of a three-year-old, chances are you've seen Encanto like five or six times at this point. Has the movie truly deserved all the hype it's gotten? Or are some of you scratching your heads and asking yourselves, you know what, why are we still talking about Bruno? But before we jump into this Disney animated musical, please be sure to ring the bell, subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment when you're done, let me know what you think of the movie. Let's start off with the pros. Over the last decade, Disney Animation Studios has strived to tell stories that don't fit in the typical Disney animation mold. Ever since the release of the first Frozen film, Disney has shown that they care a whole lot more about creating of storytelling than they do about every character falling in love. And that's a good thing. Their most recent film, Encanto, is no exception. It actually amazed me how personal this story was to so many people that watched the movie. From multiple people that I've talked to, it's hit everybody in a different way. I liked how the film actually highlighted the fact and the truth that we all have insecurities and none of us are perfect. And that if we try too long to bear the weight of other people's expectations and to live up to those expectations all the time, that we will in fact at some point break under the pressure of it all. This film shows that it's much more important to value who we are as people rather than what we do as workers. That is an incredible message to teach kids and adults alike. Another great thing about the film is that it has one of the best soundtracks I've ever heard. Do I even really need to tell you how many times the Bruno song was stuck in my head? I'm just gonna put this out there. We don't talk about Bruno, Trump's Let It Go from Frozen. So there, sue me. Despite a soundtrack filled with great hits, the most emotional affecting song for me was Surface Pressure. Do you ever watch a movie or listen to a song and you're not really expecting to get your heartstrings tugged, but then you listen to the song, you watch the movie, and then you're like, there's flying donkeys, but it just feels so real. As soon as I heard that song in the movie, it had me. There's so much more to a song than just a catchy tune. If you can create a soundtrack that actually makes you laugh, makes you tap to it and smile, but also makes you think, that's a success. Another amazing thing about this film are the characters. Every single character in the film just felt so lived in and real. You got Mirabelle, who's the protagonist of the film that is so relatable on so many levels. You've got the grandmother, who even though you kind of hate her at first, ends up coming around and being one of the most emotionally affecting characters in the film. No spoilers here. And then you've got random characters like Felix that aren't even a main character in the film, but somehow are still so refreshing and amazing. After seeing Felix dance and bop his shoulders and singing and doing all his crazy antics, Antics, I was like, I want to be Felix. Kudos to Disney for having a roster full of characters that are all so fun and inviting. The last great thing that I want to point out about the film is its animation. At this point, they are totally rivaling Disney and Pixar. Everything looks so vivid and real. And for a film as culturally rich as Encanto, it was really important to have that kind of attention to detail. It's truly one of those movies where you're fully immersed in the world that they've created because it's so lush and beautiful and vivid. I absolutely love it. Now, no film is without its imperfection. So without further ado, the cons. I loved this film so much that I actually only have one complaint, and it's the fact that a few of the songs were a little too fast to hear and understand. I know, I know, that sounds really petty, but the fact is, if there's an imperfection somewhere, I'm gonna point it out, and some of the songs I just couldn't flipping understand. Take the Family Madrigal song, for example. As fun and catchy as it was to listen to, I honestly couldn't repeat half the words at this point. It was sung so fast, and there was so much going on in the lyrics that anytime I want to sing it, I can't, and I just have to hum to it. <laughs> but a song that sounds as good as the Family Madrigal, I want to be able to sing it, but I can't. And maybe that's my fault. Another song where it was really hard to catch the lyrics was What Else Can I Do? There were simply parts in that song that I really couldn't pick up or hear or understand. I don't know if it was because other things were going on in the background, and there's all these different sound effects, and the orchestra, you know, is just playing their hardest, but I couldn't understand half of what the song was saying. And it's naturally not my favorite song in the bunch, mainly because it gave me a lot of let it go and into the unknown vibes. And let's just admit those two songs aren't even great to begin with. Please don't unsubscribe. I just think they could have done a little more to make those lyrics pop. That's all. Other than that, I really don't have a lot to complain about because honestly, the movie was great. Which is why as of this moment, I'm gonna give the movie a 9.5 out of 10. Without a doubt, it is my favorite Disney animated movie in the last 10 years, and there's hardly any others that can top it. It deserves every bit of the praise, of the hype that it gets. It 
it truly is an incredible Disney film and an instant classic. But hey, I've talked to people that absolutely hate the movie. So what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below what you think of Encanto. Do you love it or do you feel like all the hype is a bit overdone? And as always, please be sure to ring the bell, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and like I said, be sure to leave behind a comment. Thanks so much for watching this latest episode of Denvito Movies and TV. Take care and be blessed.